Breaking developments first at 11 on the terror attack in Barcelona. Hours ago, authorities killing five people believed to be involved in a separate terror plot just south of the city. And in fact, moments ago, we learned those people were carrying bomb belts. As it stands right now, 13 people are dead from the initial attack. Officials believe terrorists are responsible for driving down a busy sidewalk there. At least 100 others are recovering still tonight. We are gathering new details coming in by the minute from Spain. Here's ABC's Elizabeth Herb. Chaos in the heart of Barcelona. With crowds running for cover. Come on, come on, come on. And police racing to the scene after authorities say this white van jumped onto a sidewalk packed with unsuspecting pedestrians. But everybody started to run because they're screaming from behind and everybody just ran forward. It was around 5 p.m. Thursday local time and eyewitnesses say that van was speeding, leaving a trail of terror before coming to a crashing halt. Heard screams of people and when I looked up, saw the white van just knocking people over at, at high speed. Eyewitnesses later told police the driver abandoned the van and ran away. And that van, according to investigators, was rented by this 28-year-old, Driss Ukabir. ABC News learning Ukabir was born in Morocco, where he recently visited before arriving back in Spain last Sunday. Police announcing the arrest of Ukabir along with another man confirmed a third suspect was shot and killed. The investigation now continuing with an earlier house explosion and this late night incident just 60 miles south of Barcelona that left five people dead. All three events believed to be connected. This as families with missing loved ones, including American Jared Tucker from California, are asking for help. And as for that investigation, authorities believe Ukabir had help, and so they say they are now searching for at least two more suspects. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York. Out of the concern here in the tri-state over the terror attack as a family with relatives in Barcelona voiced their own concerns to Nine on Your Side. In fact, Nine on Your Side reporter Ashley Zilka joins us live in the newsroom with their story. Ashley? Craig, people from all over the country are checking in on their loved ones in Barcelona. I spoke with a woman in Colrain Township. Her aunt and uncle live not far from where the attack happened. I start getting texts from my aunt. I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Kathy Stubbers soon found out what happened just blocks away from where her aunt and uncle live in Barcelona. Right here is like where you can sit and see the, the sea. And this is like the district where you walk. This video shows the chaos after a van rammed into a crowd of people. Stubber showed us some messages from her relatives. Yo triste familia Barcelona bien. The family in Barcelona is well, everything's okay. You can see La Ramba from his house and he just says that it's, um, he's very thankful that we're all concerned, America's concerned about and that thanks for all your support. My uncle, he keeps sending kisses and, and strong arm and that they're all, you know, they're, they, they all, they're all together on this. As Stubbers mourns with her family from afar, she says despite being scared, nothing will stop her from going back to visit them. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go every year, twice a year if I can, because it's my family, it's my blood. Today, Facebook has activated its safety check feature. People who are in Barcelona right now can use the social media site to let their loved ones know they are safe. Craig. Ashley, thank you. And nine on your side, traffic reporter Jacqueline Diagostino was in Barcelona earlier this week. She's now in Italy and spoke to us by FaceTime just hours ago. This is a really popular, you know, tourist time. Everyone travels over there around that time. Um, so it's like super busy. And whenever I Googled, places to eat, places to go, one of the first places that pops up to, to visit in Barcelona. Stay with Nine on your side and ABC News for overnight developments in the Barcelona terror attack. And be sure to wake up with Good Morning Tri-State at 4.30 for new information. Steve?